hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC without using entity framework how to bind data into a drop down list from SQL server database and here we got the output notice the state names are binded into this drop down list from SQL server table Here I forgot to add, let's add a default label, select names, stop debugging. Come on, select state names. I'm rerunning the browser link. And here we got the final output. Notice the default drop down list label is added. Select state names and the state names Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh are binded into this drop down list without using entity framework from SQL Server database. Let's check the database also. The S name is binded into this drop down list. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New Project, and from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Binding Drop Down List. Click OK. And from the templates, I am selecting MVC4. Click OK. And here the MVC application is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC for controller empty, add. The controller name is state controller, add. And here we got the controller. The first thing in this controller, I'm adding the SQL server namespaces using system.data, using system.data.sql client. The last one I'm using, using system.configuration. After adding these three namespaces, the next step, I'm adding database in this data connections. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. We need the data source of this sample db. Right click that one. Go to properties. In the properties under connection strings we have a data source. Copy that one. Open solution explorer. Come to the bottom. The last web.config file. Open that one. Now in the web.config file, notice there is a connection string is already added by default. So I am adding my new connection string add name is equals to my connection connection string. I am adding the data source which I have copied provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the controller. Now in the action result, write the coding part. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. And between these double quotes, I'm adding the connection string name, which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection 
I am adding main con string as called query is equals to here the query I'm writing the select statement before writing the select statement let's visit the SQL server management studio we'll check the table and the column name I want to bind in the drop down list in the SQL server management studio the table name is a state which contains three columns I want to bind the S name which is a state name into the drop down list let's copy this dbo.state the table name select star form I'm adding the table name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is a SQL query comma the second parameter is a object SQL connection object SQL com let's open the connection string SQL com dot open method let's close the connection string SQL com dot close method now between this open and close I'm adding SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object SQL com data set ds is equals to new data set SDA dot fill I'm filling with data set object view bag dot state names is equals to ds dot tables zero to bind the state names in the drop down list for that I am using the list class list selector list item get state names is equals to new list For each system dot data dot data row dr in view back dot state name this one I'm adding this view back dot state name here dot rows property get state name object get state name dot add method select list item the curly braces text is equals to add dr data row object the column name is s name copy this one I want to bind in the drop down list s name dot to string method comma value is equals to I'm adding this one copy this one and and the last one I'm adding view back dot states is equals to I'm adding get state name object that's it we have written the coding part now we need the index view page highlight the index method right click that one add view the view name is index only the template empty without model I'm selecting click add and here we got the index.cshtml page now here I'm adding a center tag H1 how to bind data into drop down list from SQL server database without using 
entity framework horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding at HTML dot drop down list between double quotes I'm adding my view back states Before run this application, we need to configure the controller in the rod.config file. Open Solution Explorer. App underscore start. Expand that one. Rod.config.cs. Open that one. And notice here the controller name is a home. I'm deleting that one. Our controller name is a state controller. Copy this one. I'm adding state controller and the action page is index only which is this one let's check the results Google Chrome and here we got the output notice the state names are binded into this drop-down list from SQL server table Here I forgot to add, let's add a default label, select names, stop debugging. Come on, select state names. I'm rerunning the browser link. And here we got the final output. Notice the default drop down list label is added. Select state names and the state names Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh are binded into this drop down list without using entity framework from SQL Server database. Let's check the database also. The S name is binded into this drop down list. That's it.